and welcome to Total Web Marketing, blogging, SEO, social and relationships. My name's Rob Cubbon. Thank you very much for doing this course with me. I really hope you enjoy it. So I just want to explain there's going to be four major sections to this course. Firstly, we're going to be talking about your WordPress blog. Now the course will be centered more or less around a WordPress site which has a blog and this is absolutely essential for web marketing today. Now on this WordPress blog there's going to be a few tweaks that you will need to make that will improve the penetration of your web marketing a little bit. These are little things that you must do to your web WordPress website to get it running smoothly, quickly and follow the standards that Google and other search engines would like to see you following. I'll just show you one of these now. Here is the site that we'll be working with, and this is a blog obviously, but everything I show you is applicable to any WordPress site. If you click on one of these blog posts here, you can see up the top here that the, the URL of the blog post is how to get freelance web design jobs after the domain name with hyphens in it. By default, that will be question mark p equals a number or something like that and that's okay but it's not fantastic for the search engines and the way to get the keywords or title in the URL of the blog post is just to put this slash percentage post name percentage here under custom structure and then you click save changes so that is an example of something that will be in the first section to improve your WordPress sites. The second section will be to do with SEO and what this is is optimizing both your website generally and the blog posts individually for the search engines. So here we'll be getting more deeper into keyword research which is finding out what sort of words that people in your target audience are searching for online and writing blog posts for them and we'll also be telling you general information about how to create blog posts in a way that Google and your audience will appreciate. The third section is on social media. Now this is the section that I believe most people waste the most time on online. However, I've concentrated, as you can see, on five major social networks. And in this section, I'll be set telling you how to set up your accounts on these social networks properly so they look similarly branded. And also how to gain the most traction on these social networks. And finally, at the end, I've got a lecture on how to use various tools online that will help you post to these social networks regularly but easily and in a way that's not time consuming. So the fourth section of the course is very important because it talks about relationships and this is a huge part of web marketing because not only do you need to be writing blog posts regularly and you need to be creating on other platforms as well including social media but you also need to be developing relationships with thought leaders and others in your niche as this will establish your reputation within your niche and it will also help with links and social shares and all sorts of other things like that. So we'll be talking about relationships as well. But finally, here's a quote from Matt Cutts, who some of you may have heard of. He's the head of the web spam team in Google. And it actually means that he is privy to how the results of Google come out the way they are. And he said something very interesting. And obviously we've got to take this with a caveat that what Google says, Google doesn't always do. But here's the quote anyway. Even if you do brain-dead stupid things and shoot yourself in the foot, but have good content, we still want to return it. I.e. it's all about the content. Content is king. Create great content and don't worry too much about SEO. Now that's what Matt Cutts is saying and that's what I largely go along with. There's no quick fixes in SEO. So don't take this course thinking that I'm going to tell you a few tricks and you'll get loads of traffic and you'll get to the top of Google etc etc. It's still about creating regular useful content for your audience and putting it out in a way that the maximum amount of people can see 
and benefit from and doing that and not doing tricks and SEO black hat techniques. There's none of that in this course. So thank you very much for listening to this introductory lecture. You have links to me and my email address. I'm happy to hear from all of you if you have any questions at all. However, there are some free ebooks to download how to market yourself online and starting an online business and there's a link from them here. So, thank you very much for listening again. My name's Rob Cubbon. Goodbye.